Hey YouTube, it's been roughly two weeks since I planted this food plot for the deer. This is Winford Rape or uh, Winford Turnip. It's a bulbless turnip, whatever you want to call it. It's um, in roughly two weeks. It's come out pretty good, looking real good. Uh, real impressed the way it's come up. Obviously, I've planted this a little too thick because I ran out of seed early. Um, so this is probably a little heavily seeded. Uh, I did miss a little strip right over here. I may have to go get some more seed just to, of something just to fill in that little area. Uh, one thing I did this weekend is back over here we got a, I planted an apple tree over there. And then down here I've also planted another apple tree. And these apple trees I've had since the spring. And I've put them in these grow bags, these 20 gallon grow bags. Um, I actually bought them with the trees from the original trees that I bought from my orchard. My orchard is just right up that way. Um, and I just haven't got to them until finally this weekend I finally got these trees planted. I've been meaning to do it for a long time. But, uh, so they're just planted. I need to water them. And down here, over here, this is the, sh the shooting range over here and over in the, and, uh, and beside the shooting range is this old little block building. That's a little well house. And, um, I'm going to get water out of that well. And I wanted to show you that well because it's, it's pretty neat. It, the water level's like right up, uh, where you can dip it out with your, by hand. So let me go show you this, uh, well house. All right, this is the old well house. Um, you can see from this pole, there used to be electric that came to it. Um, they had a, a shallow well pump in here, and there are water hydrants all over this property. Um, there's actually a water hydrant all the way out um, by the pond. So there's water hydrants everywhere. I'm pretty sure this well provided for them. So let's open up this door. I'll show you the water pump. Okay, that's the... Uh, this is the old pump. It looks pretty, an expansion tank looks pretty bad, but it's actually sitting right on top of this well. Let me see if I can get it in. Okay, that is the actual well. This is a big, about a 24 inch pipe. I'm not sure how this was put in, but I, you can see the water levels just right there. And that's actually, where that is, is actually higher than where my feet is. It makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, it's probably roughly where my feet are, or, or maybe just a little bit higher. But you can see, it actually goes downhill right here, and this is a little creek down in here. So this water level is higher than this little creek that goes through here. So we've always thought that maybe there's a spring on this property, and uh, maybe this well was spring-fed. Our pond is, the lowest I've seen it is about one inch uh, over, under, yeah, under the overflow and I've known other people where their ponds are down a couple feet you know and and mine's basically still holding holding level so I think there's a spring under this property you can see there's an old heat lamp in there and I've noticed there's an old one down there one thing I found in here I've never seen one of these before maybe they're more common than I think but this is a basically an outlet that basically turns on at 35 degrees that's pretty neat. So they just plugged in those heat lamps. And then every time it got down to 35 degrees or lower, it turned on them lamps to try to keep it from freezing. Hmm. As you can see that water level is just, just right there. And they've, they've got this pitcher laying in here. And you can just dip down in here with your hand and get you a scoop of water. And that's just, to me, that's just amazing. That is a neat well to be able to have a, a water level right where you can dip it out by hand. So, just thought I'd show you that. I think that's neat. I'm gonna take this jug of water here. I'm gonna start filling some buckets and uh, start watering the trees. But thanks for watching. Yeah, just to give you another point of view, that water level is somewhere around right in here where this block is. And I mean, this goes downhill and then there's a creek down there. And that's probably another, you know, three foot down. But yet that water level's above that. I think that's just, that's just neat. Well, I'm not really quick at getting videos on the internet. I'm just a little busy lately. But this is three weeks now. So this is what it looks like in three weeks. And some of these leaves are 
as big as my hand already. So pretty impressive. This is the Winford Rape at uh, three weeks. Looking pretty good. As you can see over there, that field just didn't quite fill in as good. That had the brassica mix and it had the Winford over here. Now I'll go take the apple. We'll just look at the chicory and see what it looks like at three weeks. Now this is the chicory at three weeks. Um, chickens are out here in it. Just let them out. But uh, it's looking pretty decent. It's not as impressive as the uh, as the Winford rape. I'd say the uh, leaves are probably uh, four to five inches long right now. Um, but it's uh, it filled in nice with the chicory. There's a few bare spots. So I went ahead and threw some of that brassica blend and a, some of the bare spots just to see whether it uh, grows or not, you know, just to, but uh, that's what it looks like at uh, three weeks. This is the chicory. Thanks for watching.